We're delighted to have a new library assistant, Michelle. So Michelle just started with us last month and she's come from uh, Westmead Public Library, so we're thrilled to have her. Yeah, so we're part of the new generation of Europe Direct. There's seven of us in Ireland and it's going to run from 2021 until 2025. So basically what we are, are we're communication and information points. So we'll try and keep everybody updated about current EU activities. So, for example, at the moment people are very interested in the European Digital Covid Certificate, the new CAP, and the Green and Digital Transitions and so on. Yeah, so I mean this generation is a little bit more exciting because we will be a lot more collaborative. So we'll be organising a lot of events where we'll be encouraging people to pop into us um, to give them the opportunity to share their ideas about the future of Europe. So we'll be encouraging people to, to pop into the online conference on the future of Europe Hub. Um, and we'll also um, take note of local sensitivities and then we can pass those, that information back to the European Commission. As part of our European activities, we're mm -hmm. hoping to engage a lot more with schools, in particular our secondary schools. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be encouraging programmes that support European citizenship. Um, we'll also be rolling out this year again, you know, the soapbox competition and um, activities um, that provide information to students who want to work, study and volunteer in Europe. Yeah, so, uh, so this year we're rolling out the Summer Reading Challenge as well and the aim of that is the national activity. Um, the aim is to encourage kids to read eight books over the course of the summer. Uh, when they join up they get a bag and a bookmark and a pencil um, and then at the end they'll get a certificate and a prize. Um, we'll also be encouraging them to take part in a national writing competition and there's some great prizes there. There's three edge categories, so there's um, tablets and there's lots of 50 euro vouchers to be won as well. We're trying to organise uh, visits from groups that are already a hub. So for example, kids who are taking part in a, a summer, summer camp, um, because they're a hub they will be able to come in. Um, I know the school next door, they offer a July provision for the ASD unit, so we're hoping to be able to invite them in as well. And we're also hoping to organise activities um, for the courtyard, so we're lucky enough to have an outdoor space, so we're just looking into organising activities now. In any activities that we do in libraries are always free. So the best way um, to keep in contact with us is to check out our social media pages. So we have Facebook and we have Twitter, um, or they can just call the library.